maybe 10 or 15 minutes ago. Let me say this. You know, I believe I told you all that demons place thoughts into our minds. And many of us fight against those thoughts every single day. For me, I fight against those thoughts every single day and it really gets annoying, very irritating. So I started to think about how much I did not want to be in this world. No, I am not suicidal. I am not going to kill myself. If you kill yourself, more than likely you are going to hell because you are murdering yourself. Okay, so I was thinking about how much I did not want to be in this world and stuff like that and, you know, just going to heaven and just kind of irritated. Crazy thing about that, I started to feel like my energy was drained, like I felt like doing nothing. And I was thinking, what is going on here? Like at first I had energy, but now I have no energy. What is going on? So I started to think, perhaps it was or it is the way what words I was saying and what I was contemplating on. So I was like, you know what? I don't want to feel this way anymore. So the first thing I did, I believe, I said, demons, I bind and cast you out right now in the name of Jesus. Then I started to think about positive thoughts. So what came to me even more, I guess I can say, the way that we feel is due to what we say and what we think. The way that you feel is due to what you say and what you think. Well, Kevin, you know, back in my past, you know, my uncle or my mom, dad, uh, niece, nephew did me wrong, blah, 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 blah. Yes, but the way that you feel is due to what you say and what you think about. I can't force you to think in a negative way. I can't force you to say negative things. Yes, we all go through bad things, but I can't force you to think and say negative things. So you are depressed because you are thinking about depressing things and you speak depressingly. You are angry because you are thinking about thoughts that make you angry. You are saying things that have made you angry and you continue to be angry. So what shall you do? Think about positive things. Speak about positive things. Because how can you say that you want to feel better but you continue doing the same things that is making you depressed, angry, sad, blah, blah, blah. Think about that. You say that you want to be happy, but you are continuing to think about things that have made you mad and you are speaking about it too, but you are saying that you want to feel happy, but you know that it has never worked. So you are continuing doing something that you know that does not work, expecting a different result. That is insanity. For instance, let's say that poking myself with this toothpick here, let me see. Let's say that this hurts. How can I say that, hey, all I have to do is continue to poke myself and it is not going to hurt but every time I do it it hurts so how can I say that 
it is going to stop hurting when it hurts every single time. Hey, I want this to stop hurting. Ouch, 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 ouch. A person can say, well, if you want it to stop hurting, stop doing it. I don't know if that makes any sense. If you want to be happy, stop thinking about negative thoughts. Well, Kevin, you know, it is just something that I have been doing for years. I don't care. You say that you want to be happy. If you want to continue feeling the way that you are feeling, continue doing what you are doing. But if you want a change, a change must occur. I just told you that I felt drained for like five or ten minutes by thinking about negative things. Only ten minutes. But some people think about bad things all day, every day. Imagine how you feel. Very drained. Very unhappy. So on and so on. Well, I don't know why I feel this way. Well, maybe it was just my stepdad or stepmom or this person here and that person there. If that is the case, you are saying that you feel that way because of an other person. Okay, we all have gone through bad things. So are we all angry all the time? No. So are we all depressed all the time? No. So that means that you are doing something wrong. So you can't use that excuse that someone has done you wrong. You need to stop thinking about it so much and move on. Many people have moved on. What if we just stayed in the same rut as you? This world would be much more in chaos. Well, Kevin, you know, someone hurt my heart. Everyone got their heart broken in some way or form. Myself, many times. Many, 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 many times. I could be depressed and all messed up right now if I wanted to be that way. But I choose to move on. Hey, I forgive those people. Whatever they did to me, I forgive them. Because if you don't forgive, that is a weight unto you and not to them. Unforgiveness is a weight on you. But Kevin, you know, but Kevin, how? Oh. So I really hope this makes sense. The way that you are feeling is due to what you are thinking about and what you are saying. The way that you are feeling is due to what you are thinking about and what you are saying, not what a person did to you. Because if that is the case, we all would be messed up up here. But some of us just move on. Some people, or many people, don't move on. They just grab a hold and like, nope, I'm not letting it go. I'm not letting it go. I am not letting it go. But it is a weight. It is, weighing, it is weighing you down. Making you feel worse and worse and worse. Does that make any sense? The way that you feel is due to what you are thinking about and what you are saying. So what should I do, Kevin? Think about good things. Yes. People have done me wrong, but hey, I am choosing to think about good things. Like, hey, I want to play soccer or something like that. Let me think about um, cartoons or going to the movies or eating popcorn. Something that you, that you enjoy. Does that make any sense? We don't have to contemplate on negative things. If you do, duh. That is why you continue to feel bad. Even I, if I contemplate on bad things all day long, 
I would be depressed as well. Like really depressed to the point where <laughs> I may would I may would have to go to the hospital or something like that. Like a mental hospital. Seriously. From everything that happened to me. <laughs> but no. I am going to think about things that make me happy. Find a hobby other than sitting in your room and and just I don't know how to do it. <laughs> sitting in your room looking sad and depressed and stuff like that, just hanging your head down and you know and all that mess there. Move on. Move on. Move on. If you don't move on, your life is going to be more miserable. I'm telling you, I don't like feeling bad. Life is way too long to feel bad. Like, what if you live until you are 80? Can you imagine living 80 years feeling depressed? That is torment. Think about it, 80 years, unless you do something and, and kill yourself or something like that, but let's say you live until you are 80 and you are depressed the whole time. That is torment. Skip that, no. So really take heed, through the, heed to this, God bless.